Hi, my name is Adam. Today I'm going to show you how to turn a laptop which you no longer use into this small desktop PC. Let's get started. First thing first, you have to disassemble the laptop, step which I already did. A good way to do it is to visit ifixit.com for a detailed guide on how to do it the right way. Try not to rip any cable, take your time, you're gonna need all of them later when we want to connect our mouse and keyboard. Let's start by adding this SATA extension cable, which I already glued in place. It gives you the possibility to place the SSD in any positions you want. This is important in my use case because I need the footprint to be as small as possible. Now just screw in 4 standoffs through the motherboard in all corners if possible. I use 3 cm height ones. It will gonna help me later when I mount the PC together. They also help us raise the motherboard and protect the capacitors from damage or short and also gives me the total width of the case. Now the tricky part of the build, the power button. We have to remove the initial power button, step which I already did, and keep the ribbon cable intact. Now to figure it out which pins are the right ones, I will use a PC power button and this two pin connector, which I connect them together and use the strip to end to touch the pins while pressing the button in order to power it up. Try all combination and you should find them pretty easy. After we found the right pins, solder the male connector to them. I used a cheap soldering iron from Amazon which did the job pretty good. Then use some heat shrink to protect the connection. Feel free to use some tape if you want. I use heat shrink because it was lying around my desk. For the power button I use the car switch and slip it orange to match our color scheme. Plug in the power and try the switch if it's working properly. If it does we are ready for the next part. Our kids. Start by measuring your motherboard on a piece of perforated aluminium sheet. Trace a straight line on the marks. The lines will be your bending point. To bend use the edge of a table and an and apply pressure while you keep it in place. Aluminium is very easy to work with, it will not need a lot of effort. You can use a sharp object to make the holes in which you insert a screw and a nut. This will rise the motherboard and prevent damaging. Now all what's left are the stand-up. Place one of them here, one here, and one here. Using the same method like before, make the cover which should be looking like this. Then just slide it over the bottom half and make sure that is in place. It doesn't need any screws, it stays in place just by friction. Now this is our case, but we need a hole for the power button. Using a drill make a hole in the preferred place and make it wider by moving the drill inside. After it's the right size, sand the rough edges using sandpaper or like in my case a Dremel. Keep a good grip and be careful. It should end up like this. Now my favorite part, painting. I use matte white for the main color and orange at secondary. You feel free to use which color you want. Apply an even coat of paint on both sides of the case and leave it to dry overnight. After it dried up completely, apply paper tape on the areas you don't want to be painted. I went with a Destiny team, you feel free to choose your own. Now apply the secondary color, I used orange. You will need two coats of paint. Apply the second one in maximum one hour from when you did the first one. After it dried up, I wanted more details, so I made some black stripes with a ruler and a black sharpie giving it a nicer look, which fit perfectly with our theme. You will find out links to all the items in the description down below. That was it guys, we finished the build. I think it turned out pretty good. Leave your opinion down below. If you like it, leave a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.